Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today in this box I have the Mi 4K drone. We're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. So first of all, thanks to GearBest for supplying the Mi 4K drone. This thing, uh, I've been seeing some reviews of it online and some different videos and such, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's supposed to be a competitor to the DJI Phantom uh, for a lower price. So first of all, opening the box, I have to say I'm impressed that it comes with this little uh, user's manual warranty card right in the box. In it, it has the instructions on how everything works. It also has a QR code where you can go to download the actual app so you can use it for your phone. This is a drone that flies with an app that you connect to your phone. So get that out of the way. Go ahead and open up the uh, styrofoam here. And there is the Mi drone. Now it's pretty cool looking. It's uh, sitting right there on top of everything else. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. No battery in it right now. But you can see the landing gear is folded up. And that's kind of cool because that makes it easy to store. It's not uh, rigid landing gear. This landing gear uh, folds down by moving these little uh, lock and unlock switches on the side. So we'll move it over to unlock fold it down and then lock it, fold it down and then lock it. So there it is with the landing gear uh, engaged. So continuing into the box, take a look down there. Now there is what you get in the box. There's the remote control, which is um, has two antennas and this remote is uh, rechargeable. So it doesn't require a battery outside of it. Uh, which is nice and it feels really solid and well built. Um, the, the drone itself does as well, I have to say. The drone feels uh, very solid. It's a nice uh, finish on it. Brushless motors, all that good stuff. So we're gonna set this over to the side. And then in here also you have your battery, which similar to DJI style, it has uh, lights on the back. And it actually slips right into the back of this thing. Um, I believe this way. There we go, put the battery in. This is your charger. Uh, this charger uses um, a little proprietary plug here at the end to actually charge the battery. Um, wish it wasn't proprietary, but that's all right. Here's your AC adapter. This is for the US, North America. And then it does come with um, propellers. There are four in this bag and four in this bag. So it comes with a full extra set of propellers. Put those on in a second. It comes with a little USB cable and it comes with a wireless dongle. I believe that's what this is if you want to fly it wirelessly. I'm going to actually use a, um, an iPhone and use a cable. And then it comes with this uh, 4K camera and gimbal. And this thing feels pretty substantial. It's got a slot for a micro SD card in the back here, you can see. And it, I don't think it comes with a micro SD card, so I'll have to get my own. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and uh, put the props and the uh, camera on. So let's do the props first. Now the propellers are either white or gold and it's kind of the color scheme of this thing and they are going to go on all right that one's locked on so that's a that's a uh, grayish white one. Here comes a gold one. And actually the way you can tell which propeller goes where is right here next to the propeller there's a color that's gray that's gold so the gold goes on the gold and the gray goes on the gray which is always nice when they give you a little cheat sheet like that so let's see another gray over here and yeah the top just kind of spins to lock and unlock which is nice um no no guessing whether they're locked or not so all right, so we've got all four props on. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, camera on the bottom. And there is a set of multi-pins. So I'm guessing these things down here on the bottom are uh, sensors that allow it to have downward uh, sensing to know that it's uh, approaching the ground uh, and perhaps for stabilization. There is a little unlock switch here on the bottom. Okay, so when you push this little unlock uh, switch right here, it, it moves these levers and that lets you move, take this off, which allows you to put the camera in place. 
So it's just a little cover that goes there when the camera's not in place and lets you put it right in. I'm guessing that goes into those two slots. Very easy to take on and off, which is really cool. Uh, it's kind of a round camera, and as I said, it's got a uh, slot for a micro SD card, which I'll put in here in a second. I don't think it came with one, um, which is okay, because usually they send, send you not a great one anyway, and you end up replacing it. So it saves them a little bit of cost, and you a little bit of cost to not get one that you have to replace anyway, then all the better. Okay, so I've got this little 32 gig card here that I'm going to put into the Mi drone. And it should just slot right into the back here. Let's see which way it goes. And there we go. Now we've got it here. There is a little bit of um, plastic on the front here. I'm not sure if that's a sensor or not. I don't think it is. I think it's just to keep it clean. So let's go out in the field and uh, take it for a flight. Okay, so this is my very first time uh, even turning this thing on out in the field. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up the app and turn the brightness up on my phone all the way because it's really bright out here today. Uh, the sun's kind of dipping in and out behind clouds, uh, so hopefully it'll go back again. And I'm going to uh, turn on the remote and plug this into the remote. So as I mentioned, the remote has a, a thing up here on the top, and I'm going to go ahead and open the app. So there is a beginner mode when you first start out that it's defaulted to. It's telling you safety precautions. Uh, it's a nice little tutorial. You start the drone by pulling the sticks down and in. It's telling you that. Auto takeoff, there's a button for that. It's this one down here with the up and down arrow. Auto takeoff, auto land. All right. So, connect. I'm going to connect via USB. All right, so I'm in the middle of an update and first of all you got to have data on your phone because it wants to pull down the latest uh, version and then second of all you connect your phone uh, to the remote as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So basically the, the the remote, this little dongle goes in the bottom. I couldn't get it to work with the, the lightning cable going into my iPhone so I just used the dongle and made this a hotspot, it gives you a password, a default password, you log into that hotspot, and then the two can see each other, the uh, phone and the drone. Uh, it's going through a, a aircraft relay update right now. It updated the camera, it updated a whole bunch of other things, and it's probably been a good 15 minutes, uh, uh, 10, 10 to 15 minutes that it's been updating, and I'm 67% into the update. So it's not a fast process. So. Here's my suggestion is if you do get one of these, first time you fly it, be somewhere with uh, shade, first of all, and a good Wi-Fi connection, and make sure your battery's fully charged, and have some patience, because you're gonna have to do these updates in order to fly it, and it's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna sign out for a moment, when this thing's finally done updating, hopefully we can fly. Okay, after about, I'd say almost 20 minutes, um, it finally got through all the updates. It would go really fast for a little while and then it would slow way down. It got to 92% and sat there for a long time. But it's telling me I've got success on all the firmware and so we're good to go. I just hit reconnect. It's telling me more safety stuff. Um, checking connection. taking a couple of photos with it.
Okay, I want to show you a little bit about uh, what the app looks like. So I'm doing a screen recording. Love that you can do that now in iOS 11. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the drone on. Okay, so the Mi 4K drone, uh, I don't consider this a review, so please, I hope you don't either. This is really just my first uh, experience with it, getting it out, setting it up, and flying it. Um, it flies great. It actually flies uh, pretty well. I mean, it's fast, it's agile, the GPS holds really well. It seems to have plenty of power. Um, the app works pretty well, but there's a lot of weird stuff going on with errors that I was getting and the uh, setup and updating of it took forever. It was uh, surprising. It took me a good 30 minutes to actually get it ready to fly in the air. The, the physical setup, uh, you know, unfolding these and putting the props on is great. It's really fast. I honestly wish it wasn't so software dependent and so uh, finicky about what's going on with the software, but I understand that's also a safety thing, I suppose, or uh, just trying to keep the latest firmware on it. I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I'm going to check it out and I'll make a little note about the footage. Maybe um, uh, I, I could tell from my phone it looked pretty good, but you know I want to see it on a computer monitor and see if it actually looks as good as it did on the phone. Um, so far I'm giving this thing a tentative thumbs up. I like the way it flies. Um, I think the footage is going to be good. It seems to be very well built and very well thought out, but I need to see if I can get all these uh, software issues resolved and get it totally updated to where I'm not getting told that there were errors or anything like that. So uh, again, that's my first impression of it. 
a tentative like, but let me uh, experiment with it a little bit more and see if I can get it to behave a little bit better um, and see what the footage looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about getting a uh, Mi drone, a Mi 4K drone like this, uh, please use the link below. That helps support my channel. And if you uh, want to wait and see how I <laughs> resolve some of these issues, then uh, I will do more videos maybe this weekend. I was just trying to get one going for this today um, and I'm out of time, but uh, and the battery's almost down. So check it out later. Let's see how it does in the future. But if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos about drones and RC, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching.